I spoke to my parents today for the first time in almost 30 years. I was watching a TV program last night called Long Lost Families and it was about people, it's a program about people that are trying to get in touch with their long lost biological family, often people that were um, adopted in, at birth or their early years and don't know who their biological family are and, and, and siblings are and this program researches and finds them and connects people from all around the world who never knew about each other in many cases and it's heartbreaking often to watch and I was watching it uh, not for the first time but I felt prompted to get in touch with my parents the problem is I don't know where they live or um, a phone number I don't know anything about them because it's been 30 years almost since I had in contact with them they don't live far from here maybe maybe 30 40 minutes from where I live um, I wrote a book some years ago called I Am Not My Father, which was my attempt to make some sense of and recover something worthwhile from my bad experience with my dad. He was violent and abusive and um, and I thought I want to do better as a parent when I get chance to parent and I've tried to do that and tried to do better. I don't judge my dad because I think he did the best he could and he probably didn't have a great role model from his dad, I guess, my granddad, who I never knew. Um, so I spent about two hours today um, doing an online search and found a company and that helped me find him and found a phone number. And there I'm sat with the phone number, terrified of the idea of now dialing it, a landline number of who would pick up um, and was it the right thing to do is it the right thing to do to barge in with a phone call after 30 years so I just thought well I tell you guys all the time do it scared or take a leap or jump in or do something different today and unusual well today uh, I did that I just dialed the number and my dad picked up the phone it was the weirdest most surreal thing to hear his voice after all this time couldn't see him I wondered if I saw him he told me he was 84 didn't know how old he was even I thought if I saw him I wouldn't recognize him or my mum so my dad spent a few minutes then he, he said I'll put your mum on which is what he always used to do I'll put your mum on I don't want to be on the phone talking anything oh, I'll put your mum on so my mum came on and my mum is so sweet and uh, I suffered so much, I think, in all of that relationship, but stuck by him. And I think as kids, we resented it to a degree for that, thinking it would be better as kids to have been pulled away from that and raised as a single parent with her. But back then, that was not as much of an option, perhaps, as it is now. So I just... I said to my dad when he picked up the phone, it's me, it's Paul, your son. He's like, what, who? That went on for, a, I, mean, I mean, a good two or three minutes that went on for him not computing that it was me on the phone. Um, that's how weird it all was and surreal and uncomfortable for him and for me. I spoke to my mom, asked how they're doing. She's 83 and how their health is and do they need anything and so on. And, And then I finished the call and I said to my mum, I said, Mum, I love you. Then I start to get a bit teary and choked because it's the first time I've had a mum to say that to uh, in 30 years. So I'm not on camera to say that you should do anything like that. I said the other day in a video, what's right for me may not be right for you. I'm not on camera to say that. I think I'm on camera to say that maybe some of you are having a prompting today to do something. And uh, maybe you just need to do it. You need to call someone or do something or make a decision or say something um, or write that book or learn that language or, 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 or learn that new skill or apply for that job or whatever it may be. I don't know. Do it scared. I keep saying do it scared. Well, today I did something that scared the hell out of me. And I guess it did my parents too when it entered their world. But anyway... Um, that happened to me today. What it leads to, I don't know. I'm not.
trying to make it anything. If it just becomes an occasional call that we have, then that's great. They don't have a cell phone, so I just have a landline, so occasionally maybe I'll call, maybe it will lead to them, I don't know. They don't know my grandchildren, their great-grandchildren, they don't know them. Maybe it'll lead to a little bit of connection with them, I don't know. It's a lot to take in, but anyway, whatever the equivalent is for you today, maybe Maybe something you need to respond to today, that prompting, that idea that won't go away. I did that today and I felt good about doing it. And maybe that's something I need to pass on to you guys today. All right. Love you.